with you how to add a page on WordPress in the Divi theme and also how to reorder your menu based on the pages that you have. Uh, again, I think I mentioned this in a previous tutorial. You really, if you're a digital marketer, you need to understand how websites work. Even if you're not going to be the one managing it, your um, website, uh, your webmaster will need to know what they need to do and you need to know how it works in order for you to be able to explain what you need to your webmaster and to your web designers. So today we're going to be adding, let's say, a page. I'm right now on the back office of my website. Uh, this W is WordPress and I've created my website on WordPress. So I'm gonna go, this is the back office. All I did is I logged in with my credentials and this is my back office and I'm going to add uh, all, sorry, whole pages. Well, we can do it two way. We can add new, but it's already. So here we're going to go add new. So let's say um, on my home page I have the tabs already for home, about, frequently asked. Let's say I want to add a tab on gallery, gallery of photos. So all I do is that and publish. Let's say we want to add another page. That's right, no writing errors were found. And we're going to add uh, another page, let's call it services. Um, you know, I'll, I'll remove these after this tutorial, but I just want to give you an idea as to how it works. And right now, even though I've published these pages, and let's say obviously I've uh, put photographs or content, whatever, um, this page is going to be services. They don't appear on my website yet because I've not added them to the menu. Again, we're going to get this message that says no writing errors were found. That's fine. So we're going to go back so you can see what I'm referring to. Let's visit the site and right now I'm going to move this down. As you can see, my site shows these tabs up here. Home, About, Blog, Frequently Asked, Video Series, Membership, and Contact um, in terms of use. But it does not show the two new pages that I've just added, the services and the gallery. So uh, if I want to do that, what I would do is go back to the back office and I'm going to go to Appearance menus and that will take me to this page where you can see a list of all the pages that I've created okay so right now uh, gallery and services does not appear on those tabs but I'm gonna ask it to add them to the menu so press add to menu and now they appear at the bottom here and we need to save the menu so that they appear and now we're going to go back as soon as this stops turning we're going to go back to visit the site so you can see how it has added those pages you see so now we have services and gallery obviously I'm going to remove them now because I don't need them um, and you can also reorder them quite easily. Let's go back to that, to this page. And if I wanted, let's say, gallery, all I do is I drag it up to wherever I want it. So let's say this is where I, I want this. And I can also make this a submenu, for example, of, of this. So if you go to the side, it'll be a submenu. If you keep it to the left, it'll. So let's look at how that looks. It's so simple to use this theme. I just think if you're starting out, again, you may subcontract this out, but if you, you know, I really recommend that you understand this so you can be able to express um, what services you need to your developer and creators. So see, we've uh, reordered the 
gallery one and the services. Obviously, I'm going to um, change that when we finish, but it's as simple as that. Um, I love Divi because it just is so user friendly. You know, it's with a menu like this, with a program like this, it's just so easy to do.